In today's episode, we'll be telling you about the new client. We'll also be announcing a new challenge and talking about the preparations for Tanky's birthday celebration. Hello, tankers! Our updated client, the one we've told you about so many times, is finally available to download on our website. Just as a small reminder, we have fixed the movement of the camera and the controls should be more familiar. Besides that, after the recent update, the performance on laptops with discrete graphics cards has increased significantly. Also, I would like to point out that all game content, including the special missions which are loved by so many, is only available in the HTML5 version. So if you're still playing on the old client, it's definitely time to upgrade. May is coming to its end, and that means a new challenge starts on Monday. You have a few hours to complete the last tiers of the second May challenge and snag yourself the tank coins and skin container. As for the June challenge, there are several changes. Firstly, both paints in each challenge will be animated. You know that a tank with an animated paint equipped is not just cooler but also faster and it deals more damage. At least it feels like that to its owner. And secondly, augments will appear in the list of rewards. We hope that this change will motivate you to participate more in our challenges. On Thursday, 4th of June, Tanky Online celebrates its 11th birthday. Over the years, we have come a long way from a small tech demo to a game that is played all over the world. Some players have grown with us. Even those who no longer enter the game still come to watch our vlog. Indeed, some of you have become a part of our team. In honor of our birthday, from June 4th, we're launching an 11-day holiday. Updated themed decorations, increased battle funds, doubled experience, coin boxes, and a special surprise. All of these will be waiting for you. What surprise? Enter the game on the 4th of June and you'll find out. The solo juggernaut mode with an increased gold drop rate will be returning to the game on the Alexandrovsk MM map. And also, nah, we'll tell you in the next vlog. Welcome back to the YouTube Digest, our weekly selection of the best TO videos created by our players. First, watch Mr. Railgun as he shows us a montage of his best moments using the reinforced aiming transmission augment for Vulcan. Or how about watching Potent as he shares a road to legend on a new account with 100,000 tank coins? The tandem category of the Masters of the Sword tournament is starting next week. Last year, about 200 teams took part in this competition. The rules are very simple. Matches are held in a 2 vs 2 format, and players can equip only Railgun and either Hornet or Wasp. It is also required to use the Round Stabilization Augment for Railgun. In the group stage, tandems will be competing for 4 rounds in one map, and the losers will leave the tournament while the winners will proceed to the next stage. If a tandem loses a match in the playoffs, it will have a second chance and will be able to proceed to the grand final through the loser's bracket. Get ready, the battles will be hot and each new opponent will be stronger than the previous one. The last matches of the tournament will be held on three different maps with two rounds in each. If you want to try your luck and compete for some amazing prizes, then register and take part in the MOTS tandem tournament. The link, as always, is in the description. In the Setups Clan tournament, the qualifying stage has come to a close. The following teams proceeded to the next stage. Defense, Avant Guard, Team Pointers, Legion of Kings, Laws, Moldova, Empire Army, and Old But Gold. Let's congratulate them and wish them luck in the currently ongoing first group stage of the tournament. The teams were divided into two groups by drawing lots and already two matches have been played in each group. 
we will tell you more in the next episodes of the vlog. Now on to the Blitz tournaments. The first Blitz rating tournament of the new season has already been played on the Parma in the XPBP format. And a massive 56 teams took part in the Blitz, which is amazing. The winners were Machines, Vendetta, Guardians, Woods Prodigy, Outlaws, La Casa de Amigos, and Top Tier. Congratulations to the teams and good luck in the future. This week, 58 clans registered in Blitz, which is even more than the previous week, and will make for an excellent competition. We will find out the winners for that tournament tomorrow. Tune in to the live streams of the most interesting matches, participate in the giveaways, and if you are new to esports, then you should definitely try your hand in our tournaments. You can create your own team or join an existing one, gain experience, and maybe it'll be your clan that gets into the big leagues and fans will cheer for you. We thought it would be pretty symbolic if by the 4th of June this video got 11,000 likes. Of course, we're not just here for that, but to be sure that you're always aware of everything that happens in the game. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and see you in the next holiday episode of the vlog. Bye! In the last episode, you had to guess which mine would destroy the tank after the Magnum's shot. And the right answer is 1. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the new question.